80% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions are caused by extracting and burning fossil fuels, which, despite its clean-sounding name, includes natural gas. Oil and gas has done a marvelous job of taking a fossil fuel, which is methane, and calling it natural gas, and that goes into our homes. While a lot of us think of how outdoor pollution affects things like asthma in children, a lot of people don't realize that burning gas indoors, whether it's through a stove or through a gas um, burning furnace, um, can also have effects on your asthma. A lot of times, the um, level of particulates or pollution inside a house can be higher than outside. The burning of gas in your home, in a stove for example, open flame to the air, allows uh, nitrogen dioxide and some level of carbon monoxide to accumulate in the home. The carbon monoxide that is produced by, you know, get with gas appliances is the same toxin that comes out of the tailpipe of, of a gas car or a diesel car. We don't want to breathe that in, so why would we bring that into our house? There are alternatives to burning fossil fuels in your home. Modern technology has made using electricity to cook with induction stoves, heat water, or heat and cool your entire home with heat pumps as affordable as gas. And with an all-electric home, there's no need for carbon monoxide detectors. Colorado law HB 20-1155P requires home builders to offer new home buyers the opportunity to have an efficient electrical heating system including an electric water heater, electric boiler, or electric furnace or heat pump system. Having gas in homes has both direct health impacts by the substances that are released into the indoor home environment, as well as more indirect um, health impacts of contributing to climate change over time. Gas is dangerous and a known health impediment. If you are in a position to affect change, encouraging the use of electric cooking appliances, electric water heaters, electric dryers, and electric heating and cooling systems can potentially save someone's life and the Earth.